Okay, so we are going to make this pad sound. We are playing these notes. Maybe you know them from the song Inner Bloom. It sounds kind of similar here. And now we are going to create another track here with the same MIDI pattern with another instance of the MIDI. And we're going to go into our browser. And if you haven't already imported it, look for the blank preset which is blank, there's nothing on it. If we are playing right now, we don't hear anything. And this track is on solo, so we should hear something. Okay, so we are starting from scratch here and we are using the first oscillator, turning that one on. And now we are playing this waveform, the sawtooth here. It's just an octave too high for the pads or the chords or the notes we are playing. So I'm going down in the range and I'm taking it down to 16, transposing it one octave lower in that case. Okay, so there's our initial sound and we are going to bring the volume to halfway here. So 12 o'clock. And now I'm going to play around with the filter here. We are manipulating the sound. We are taking some higher frequencies out. So I'm taking this one down, color frequency to nine o'clock more or less. Okay, it's very quiet. Put on both keyboard control switches. So the frequency of the filter kind of follows the notes we are playing. And bring the contour of the filter down to two or nine o'clock, this one here. But now we're going to play around with the envelopes here. So attack a little bit up to get rid of the initial click and do the same thing for the loudness contour here or our amplifier bring that up a bit and now put up the decay time for both of these controls to around 600 And the sustain level to four on the filter. So we are keeping the sound or we're basically keeping more frequencies in there, more high frequencies for a longer time, as long as we are playing the notes. So. And also bring the overall gain up to eight or three o'clock. Now, if you want to have this pad sound without any pluck element in the beginning, you can bring up sustain level to all the way up here. And then adjust the attack time. But I want it a bit plucky, so I'm bringing it back to four here. And now I also want to detune the voices a little. Because we're playing like six or seven voices here because we have six or seven notes or actually we're only playing six because the polyphony is at six down here so let's bring it up to eight just to be sure we are always playing all our notes okay and detuning up a little So we are widening our sound a little bit and now I want to introduce a little bit of noise here. So we are taking this noise generator, putting it on. That's a bit too much. Bring it down to two or a bit less. You can see the exact values down here. So minus 19 decibels at the moment.
Okay, now what we want to do, we want to get this little bit of movement into the pitch of our oscillator, like in the original Inner Bloom track. And we can achieve that by using modulation. And we are using the third oscillator to kind of modulate what's going on here with the pitch of our first oscillator. No, let me think about that again. We are not going to use the third oscillator. We are actually going to use the noise. So modulation mix, this knob here tells us, are you going to use the third oscillator as source for your modulation or the noise? So this one here, or a mix of both of them. So put it all the way up, all the way up to noise. And now we can play around with the mod wheel but we won't hear anything unless we activate this modulation switch here. So that one decides if you're using the modulation wheel, we are going to actually do something with the oscillator. So put that on. And now I'm going to put it up gradually. this modulation we are kind of introducing this fragility here to the sound it sounds more fragile more movement in there and not so clean so this is how you can achieve that effect with the modulation and we're kind of done with this basic sound here you could also introduce delay effects and chorus effects but we're not going to go into the extended mode for now so i'm leaving the sound here this is our basic pad sound Thank you. 